Widow Maria Carrillo traveled by ox cart from San Diego to the fertile shaded banks of Santa Rosa Creek, near its convergence with Matanzas Creek. That's where she chose to build a ranch house of adobe brick, made from soil along the creek bank, completing Santa Rosa's first permanent structure. Maria Carrillo's daughter was General Baleo's wife. And the Mexican general had good reason to set up his mother-in-law with a land grant and a ranch house, establishing turf. In the early 1800s, Santa Rosa Valley was caught between the expansion of, of two world powers, between the northernmost reaches of Spain on this continent and the expansion of the Russian Empire on the north. Both global powers conveniently ignored the much older culture that called the area its home. The Coast Miwok and Southern Pomo, who lived at this location for thousands of years, uh, when the European diseases struck and the local people here had no antibodies to those diseases, uh, the population soon started dying off. Went from probably about 6,000 to probably about 50. Nowadays, uh, the Coast Miwok tribe, Southern Pomo tribe, is comprised of about 1,400 people. I'm a descendant. Doña Maria Carrillo died in 1849, during the greatest migration in American history, the California Gold Rush. California was already a U.S. territory. In a year, it would become a state. Those who rushed to the Santa Rosa Valley found a different kind of gold. And the people who found these valleys that were so lush that unirrigated land was obviously spectacular. And if you were a dirt farmer from Missouri, you could get pretty excited about land like this. People from southern Missouri and adjacent south-leaning states settled the Santa Rosa Valley. Most would be Confederate sympathizers in the coming Civil War. At first, they planted wheat, but they quickly moved on to other crops. They experimented with all kinds of weird stuff like silkworms and bamboo, but they ended up with fruit crop. And in 1860, they began to experiment with hops, and hops became for 100 years the leading crop in the Santa Rosa Valley. Powerful farmers ran early Santa Rosa. They had the money, they had the power, they had the land. The, the crops were abundant. They made fortunes. And they had a ready market just 50 miles away, the booming city of San Francisco. The problem, getting crops there 